Now, you've seen this on the Guide Liverpool up until this point. Uh, 30th of April is the date for your diary. Bank holiday weekend, May Day weekend. Uh, there's a big party happening. This is the venue. It's 2 p.m. until 1 in the morning. It's going to be massive. And two icons, two titans of Liverpool dance music are coming back together one more time to put this on. You will have seen this on Facebook. Dave Graham, Lee Butler, how are we? Great, thanks for turning up. Thanks yeah, for coming we over. are very, very good. Excited. Well, I'm excited because the venue has now been unveiled. People have been asking for ages, where's this? night gonna happen it's here tell us about this place Dave well we weren't able to tell everyone at the very beginning because as you know it was a little bit difficult to announce with moving dates and things around but when you look at why we've chosen camp and furnace it's just self-evident really have a look at the place it is what house music was all about ginormous huge warehouses unused very raw very rustic uh, we just thought Every time we've met up for coffee and we've talked about these things, we've always said, wouldn't it be good to do something different? And this is the reason why we're not calling it a reunion and it's not a club night. It's going to be a completely different experience from anything that Lee and I have ever done. Okay. Why now? Why 2017? Because obviously it's years after you two were playing together back in the day when you both looked a lot younger. Uh, why, thanks, why 2017? <laughs> um, you know... Me and Dave have spoke loads of times. Um, I'm, I've asked them to do quite a bit of stuff. You know, we've chatted about it. We've been nearly there a few times. But this time, you know, we, we got together. And you know what, what was, was great about it was is that as soon as we sat down and we started getting into further conversations about it, it was like we'd never been apart. Sorry for being a bit romantic. But it was like we'd never been apart. Oh, look at them, maybe. It's, like we'd, it's like we'd never been apart and you know all the ideas the enthusiasm the creativity came back and we wanted to make sure that we didn't put on a normal club night we wanted something you know that inspired us and the inspiration was the illegal warehouses you know generators all you know them type of things that made it feel really really where it began and, and we, we visited a few venues and when we seen the camp and fairness and we stumbled across the fact that it was October 96 when we first shared our first set of decks together 20 years on I mean it just felt like the excitement the built up was right, we it? just built up to something we thought you know what let's let's do it now it's not a reunion we've got to we got to get this out there you see that word thrown about so much recently it's not a reunion it's something something more special tell us what it is in your words what is the night going to entail what's it all about I think when Lee and I started DJing we were very inspired not just by the music but by the whole scene in general the people and the, the sort of the family that you adopt when you go out clubbing you know you see these people every week they come from different parts of the country they get on coaches and they travel and I think all of that was just as important as, as the night itself and when we've sat down over the years and we've sat there and we thought if we were going to do something I don't think there was ever a problem to do a reunion I think what we wanted to do was something that no one had done before and I think that's when Lee and I started playing um, alongside each other in 96. It was very unusual because most DJs at that time were just the DJs on their own. Lee and I shared the decks, we got four decks out, the CDJs and everything was a little bit different to what everyone else was doing and that's what we wanted to do here. We don't want to do what everyone else has done because it's boring and you can see the hype that we're getting on the Facebook pages. People know that they're going to get something different and they know it's going to be unusual and that is priceless for us because that's inspired us to do all the things that we've wanted to do over all the years. With a venue like this, it enables that to happen. I, I think it would also be unfair to pigeonhole it to one to one venue yeah. that we've played. Yeah. That you know, whether it was inspiration from my Raven days at the Quadrant Park, which were a huge part of my life, uh, whether it was the early days at the State, Dave's early days at the Drome. You know, it's it's it'd be unfair to just put it down to to one club. You know, it's not about a reunion. It's an overbranded word nowadays. This is an experience. It's an, an adventure. It's 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 an all day, all night experience for people to come and really mostly enjoy with us yeah. with us all of those years because the, and again the music you can't just pigeonhole so many years of my life and Lee's life into into one because it, you, you will run out of things music uh, for, for us was the big inspiration so if you look back at all of those venues and all of those events and things that we've done and then you combined all that into one big night that's what's magical about this. It's not just going to be one period, and that's what a reunion is. It applies to one club at one particular time. That's what we're not going to do. Okay. What can we expect? You said music. What is there going to be live PA's? And um, what type of music are you going to play? I'm presuming lots of anthems. What can we expect on the night? 
Yeah, there will be learned. Of course, we've got to play all of those big tunes that were the things that made our nights so special. But there is going to be a hell of a lot of things happening on the night uh, that we're not going to announce until the actual evening. There'll be things that will happen that you'll think, I've just been to the toilet and I've missed something, and you'll come back. Because, again, it's easy for us to tell you all of the people that we're going to put on the night, but that would just take it away. And what we're going to do is do something a little bit different to what everyone else has done. Just don't go to the toilet. Just don't go to the loo, whatever you do. Um, obviously, you guys back in the day, when you were looking a lot younger, you don't look bad, to, be, on, to be fair. Um, what, what, what is it that's created this frenzy on Facebook? Because you're seeing it everywhere. As soon as you announce this night, your fan base has gone insane. What is it that, that have kept them fans wanting more for years and years after you were both together? I've got to be honest with you. I don't do Facebook. I don't have a Twitter account. I don't have anything like that. My the world I am in now is completely different. My, my children do. But Lee, really, I've got to take my hat off to him. He has driven the whole of this from that one coffee morning having breakfast. He's come back and said, call me in 24 hours, watch this. And I was amazed at how this has all come together. I can't take the credit for that. It, it, you know, I, I've, I've known all along how much love there is for Dave. You know, I, I speak to people who speak to me about it. He's, you know, he hasn't DJed or done an event for a while. He's always loves his music. That inspiration hasn't gone. I knew deep down he, there was, but he wants to do something different. He doesn't want to come back and do a club gig. I knew the love for Dave was there. I just had to, had to persuade Dave that, you know what, the time is right. And so I'm not blown away or shocked by any of the love for Dave Graham because, you know, the guy was, was like, he's a showman. And, and what, I've, what, what is great, spending a lot of time with Dave again and planning this event, is that you're going to see a show mm. because that's what Dave brings. And together, we're so excited about what the whole show, not just in one arena, over two arenas, mm. two warehouses, you know, from two in, in the afternoon till one in the morning and an after party till four. There's going to be stuff that we're not going to announce that you won't know till you get here. It, it, we're just so excited about it, but Facebook's gone bonkers for it, you know, social networking's gone mad, but the love for Dave doesn't shock me because it shocked him more because he's a modest, he's a modest lad. We're just two lads from Liverpool, we're not superstar DJs. Just give us one little thing, just one thing we can look forward okay, to. Okay. Should, we, should, we, should, we, should we share something with yes, you? Okay, please. let me share something with you. Dave will probably kill me for this because he doesn't want nothing revealed, but, you know, we've been sitting down talking about, you know, what one track can we agree on to for yeah. a finale? What one track out of Liverpool can we think of that is just synonymous with 20, 25 years of club and what a choice that is. And we finally stumbled, well, didn't stumble on it, we finally agreed on a yeah. track. And what is it? We think that we think should be played at the very end of this night yeah. as a finale, as a thank you that will blow the roof off. But what we decided is that we won't play the track. Yeah. We're going to get the act in to perform the track at the end. And we're going, and we're going out there with them. <laughs> we're not going to tell you what the track is, no, but just wait. It's they're going to be here live to do a full stage show to perform the biggest Liverpool tune. See, my, my head's battered right now. And we're going we out there. there. We're Amazing. going out we there. Be mate. We'll we want to finish the night with the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Is it an international act? I can't tell you anything, Jason. It's probably, it's probably one of the top five anthems that's ever come out of dance music. God. Huge, huge. 30th of April. How can we get tickets? When will they go on sale? The news is tickets go on sale on March the 3rd and the 4th, which is a Friday and Saturday exclusively from 3 Beat Records. They only go on sale for people who've pre-registered, so you need to get to our website, which is uh, www.grahamandbutler.com. Grahamandbutler.com. Get to that website. Register. You can register for your tickets on there and you will get a chance to buy them pre-sale before they go on general sale. They'll go on general sale on, the Monday. on Monday, the 6th of March, only at Three Beat Records. But on the 4th, on the 3rd, the Friday and the 4th of March, if you pre-register on the site for your tickets, grahamandbutler.com, you can get your tickets before they even go on sale. Brilliant. We're looking forward to it. Sunday, 30th of April, 2 p.m. until 1 in the morning. Plus Taking the after, over camp plus the after fairness. party. We're not going home. Dave Graham, <laughs> Lee Butler, thank you very much. Thank 30 you. 30th of April, day for your diary.